Hello, everybody. We are back for round two. I believe this is our last round because a lot of people wind up uh, cutting out of the game. But that's okay. We're up against Gathering Magic. Gathering for Magic, I should say. Gathering Magic is a completely different website. This league almost seems self-serving, doesn't it? A little bit. <laughs> on our part. Well, I mean, on everybody's part. Plus, like, in all honesty, I really wanted to play more with the fans that we had. Honestly, I think it's a really good interaction. Yeah, it is. Uh, we're going to draw. You put the I in an interaction? <laughs> um, I don't know if we would have... Yeah, we would. We probably would have drawn. But this is a good hand, especially on the draw, when we can draw, get that extra card advantage. Probably we have Typhoid Rats in turn one, so... Value. V -v -value. <laughs> oh, pass on the block. Uh, we are going to give him the funky black block. Whoa. He goes the jank is real, which is fantastic. I like when the jank is real. As we're playing red jank. Thanks uh, again to John Von Spreckles for that <laughs> no one. No red. Me. With no red. No red. Uh, total new question. What is jank? Uh, that's a good point. What is jank's like less of a substance and more like a state of mind? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jankity jank, jank, jank. Oh, so he's got split land. Oh, he's already winning the damage race. No! No! That's what it comes I down swear to he's Mardu. the Titans. Alright, so we got our fourth land. If he's Mardu, any opinion I could possibly have that matters is just gone. Why? Because you like Mardu or you don't like Mardu? I hate Mardu. I hate Mardu with passion. I hate seeing it. I hate playing against Mardu him. is great because it keeps everybody honest. <laughs> yeah. Mardu says... You know who's not honest, though? Rats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The fact that has Typhoid the name seems pretty honest. Oh, that's true. I was going to say, I don't think people have ever been so happy to pick up Typhoid. Before. I don't think... Oh, cute rat. Oh, Typhoid is <laughs> even better. Yeah. Typhoid Rats was great in Innistrad. Um, and it's great in this set because it trades up really, really well against yeah. a lot of bad stuff. Um, but also, it was very good. That's oh, awesome. That is a great That's card. N public enemy number one right there, folks. So what's what we're going to be fighting against here? Uh, okay, we can stop getting land now. The lands are flowing. They are indeed. I am not going to offer the attack because there's no point in swinging in and letting him crack back for two with lifelink. If he wants to trade his Soulfire Grandmaster for my Typhoid Rats, however, I'm more than happy <laughs> with that. Why do I feel like that's not going to happen? I don't think it's going to happen. This I is, believe. This is definitely going to hit the ground as a 2-3. This is definitely going to be a 5-3-3 uh, three, three flyer. I'm really happy that that land came into play taps because that means our opponent does not seem to be doing too much of anything. Except for sitting there with that majestic man beast over there. Yeah, that's a really nice card. Uh, if... Huh. Wait, how do you Oh, is he dashing? Dash? YOLO. That's Dash. fine. I'll offer the trade. It's a 3-1 flyer. I'll offer the trade here. Uh, actually, I, I can just take three. Uh, hold up, I'm just gonna take three. Uh, yeah, because then he just goes back to his hand. Yeah. So it takes three, then it goes back to his hand. Beginning of. Yeah. Uh, just to clarify, that doesn't have flying. No, it does not have flying. I know it doesn't have flying, but I, we could have blocked it. I just didn't want to. Also, to clarify. Yep. I just noticed you said it. Just. I didn't say flying, did I? Yeah. You said flying. Did I really? I thought it just said... Oh, I meant like flying out of the hand, not an actual flying. <laughs> just flying out of the hand. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> All right. Uh, we will block next turn. I was kind of hoping we could eventually trade this. Trade up. But that's okay. Hooded Assassin is fine. Uh, these Avon Surveyors are going to become 3 threes in no time, and then we're going to do really fun stuff. This ability isn't going to become relevant until much later. Um, he also can't really play his Goblin just yet. He can play Goblin Heal Cutter, though. And that's going to force one of our guys not to block, which is bad. Um, the Constant Flood of Lands is also bad. Uh, we're going to pass turn a bit. <laughs> All right. That's alright though. We still we have options, we have plays, we've got good stuff. At least we've got the dead drop. We That's do have the dead drop. Inevitably dead drop <laughs> is gonna be very good. Uh, realistically, this thing's probably not gonna attack. If he has a second goblin heel cutter, I'm gonna be really upset. Goblin heel cutter though. How would you like a Mardu Rough Rider <laughs> ability? Yeah. Ability, let me clarify that. For four mana. I actually like him I think better than I like Rough Rider. Oh yeah. Honestly. Because he's cheaper yeah. and the dash. Like, he's cheaper, he's more flexible. Yep. If dash happens, is it still trigger? Yeah. It still triggers? Wow. 
Dash is just giving you haste and then return to hand. You get to do anything else that resolves as normal. Yeah, she's uh, yeah, we'll block. We'll offer the we'll we'll offer the trade here. Oh. Yeah, we'll go to blocks. That's fine. Oh man, he was a little tired. Yeah. I always see you make these bro blocks, and I'm like, I don't know if I would have done that just because I I'm not as advanced as you. Well, here's the game plan. Uh, I'm probably gonna bounce this guy. Right. <laughs> no, but really, I am. I'm going to bounce this guy. Also, the constant flood of lands is starting to get a little annoying. Um, but you'll just be able to play all the things. I'm going to bounce. Exactly. It, I'm going to bounce this pre a uh, pre combat. Uh, I'm going to swing for one, and if he wants to trade Soulfire Grandmaster for Typhoid Rats, I'm okay with that. Uh, if he doesn't, then that's fine. If he wants to trade Soulfire Grandmaster for even Surveyor, I'm okay with that. Uh, if the site would like to continue crashing my games, that'd be awesome. I'd love that. That's probably my favorite thing about playing Magic. Um, I am not going to swing because he can just dash this. Oh, wait. Can you use that? Yeah. Bounce. And then we're going to end turn. Because if he plays this, I want to be able to block it and kill it. And realistically, he'll probably say Typhoid Rats can't block, and he'll force me to trade Avon Surveyor with it, which is fine. Another split land, jeez. Yeah. How many on color split lands did he have? I don't know. Well, there's a rough. <laughs> well, there's a rough rider. How would you like a rough rider for the normal mana? Um, not particularly. I don't think I would like that very much. How would you like to not have two people block every turn? Uh, I would like really, realistically, I would love if I like could stop getting lands. That would be awesome it might help the deck a bit uh because we've got seven now we need realistically we need 10 uh if i i could bounce this and that keeps him off his attacks i think it just gotta bounce it yeah i think that's fine um we've got pressure under pressure ding 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 Pressing down on me, no mana spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna get it for two. Zoom. Man, this Kyle value though. V -v value. Zoom. Five mana. Bounce spell, two damage. Yeah, like, One. it's not great. Um, I meant Kyle's ability to host a YouTube show and sing. It's true. I can, <laughs> I can do both of those things. video, multiple talents, drafting magic. <laughs> It's like the oh, equivalent right. of a Gurmog Swiftwing. <laughs> so many <laughs> abilities. No, I remember when I picked that thing up for disrespect and ran it. <laughs> that was, I remember that was the a time. Deck. I remember the time when I saw that card and was like, "Wow, this must be great." No, it's not. It's <laughs> awful. Uh, yo, two, two mana, two one. one All right. Two, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, unsurprisingly, our opponent recasts his Martyr Rough Rider. We have a throttle that we could get, which would be sick. It'd be nice to see. Land. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a land. Hey. No, it's a man. It's right a right into, into being. being. All right. Well, let's. Well, what's wrong in the being? Deck. What's? Gosh darn it, John. Uh, let's go right into being. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play these two face down because it's just gonna be easier for me to do. Once the spell resolves, excellent. Um, this manifests. This goes to deck top. Deck top. <laughs> no response. I figured there was no response to that. You um, never know, man. That's you true. Mean, th those Manatai. It's none of the set, but uh, you have I am it. going to go in for a swing with two. Got to keep my aggressive aggression going this way. If he goes for the block, he can realistically uh, stop two of my guys from blocking. Yeah. And now I've got uh, a bitter revelation that I can resolve next turn. Get some more cards. Value. Yeah. Value. V -v -v value. Makes the Dell shorter, right? It does. Oh, no, yeah. You just straight yeah. draw, right? I don't even remember anymore. I just straight draw it, um, which is fine. We got to land off the top of our library too, which is very good. No, I don't know. We hit ourselves for two. We lose the life race. That's true. We would lose the life race. We lose the life race. 
All so we lost. know that one of the cards in his hand is a da- is a heal cutter, which is fine. Yes. Um, so I, if I'm him, I don't know what's in his hand. I play that. I yeah. cast it. Here it comes. I don't even dash it. Oh, I think he dashes it here, which he does. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Dang. Now two people aren't blocking. Oh, yeah. Um. I'm assuming he would make it the manifest. I'll block, yeah. Is he not going to use the Marty Rough Riders? Oh, is he attacking with this thing too? Oh. Probably his combat kill, trick by me. He can't He can't use the ability. Um. I mean, yeah, I'll offer the trade though. He might have a feat of resistance. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting combat trick. Oh, yeah. Which is, which is fine. If you let Wake wants these things to live, that's okay, because we still have dead drop. Manifest can't block. Oh, Manifest can't yeah. block? Oh, then I have to... Both of their oh. Bodies. He never said it. That's fine. I'll take seven. You're not going to try to trade for the Grand Fire? No. So far? No, I'll, I'll trade for the 3-2 that has a lot of value. Yeah, because that mean... I don't think he's willing to waste any spell he has to save that as opposed to saving the Game Changer. Right. That he has there. Because he's Mardu, he's probably going to have an Arrow Storm. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, boy. I needed him not to have a creature there, actually. Yeah, that this is... It's developing, that's for sure. Well, let's see. Let's let's do some math here. We clearly play out this land. Yep. Um, and then, let's see. If I go Bitter Revelation for four, that gives me four mana left over, right? Yep. And then I would, realistically, I would have eight, so I'm actually a mana short. Um, do we just cast Dead Drop? Because that's going to force yeah. him to... It's going to hurt him a lot. I'm thinking there's a lot of dead uh, value in dead drop right now. I, I, well, not really, because we, we realistically... Uh, he's he's going to lose Soulfire, and he's going to lose Warname Aspirant. Um, although, I think you're right in that we just kind of have to play it now. I don't... Yeah, because holding it onto it, we're going to hurt ourselves more. Yeah, exactly. Because with every creature he plays, it's just going to get better. Uh, and that's sad. Like, I, realistically, I would have liked to be there... Um, but that's okay. We we still have plays. Plus, this actually gets around feet of resistance, which you might have. Yeah, the man is up for it. I expect them to have it. But dead drop. The feet of resistance doesn't do anything against dead drop. Yep. I mean, but I'm, I'm just saying, like he has the man up, and I'm and with the combat trick, I would expect him to use it on to save his two two. I mean, technically, he could also play the um the wall. That comes into play, and then he can bounce it. He can sack the wall, and then whichever one of the two drops he doesn't want. Uh, unsurprisingly, he just sacks War Name Aspirant. Um, and that. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. I'm probably not going to swing, actually. Uh, I'm going to see if I can double block and force. Still a good card. Um, I'm really annoyed that he actually had a 2-drop on top of all the other ridiculous stuff that he had. That's really aggressive. Drop. That was very annoying, actually. What is that, a, uh... Gorse wine. Yeah. What is it? It's a 4-1. One, it's 3-mana Functional Reaper. just a 3-mana 4-1. Functional Reaper, yeah. That's, that's good hand. value, right? It's okay. It's pretty... I mean, it's... So it's the pretty, 1 toughness is obviously... Yeah, it's, it's marginal. Unsurprisingly, he does this, um... I'm wondering if I can't take, off the board. I can't take five. I think double blocking okay. here is a bad play. Um, I block with the morph, and that's it. You mean the manifest? Yes, the manifest. That's exactly what I mean. Because that, that difference is going to be a lot. Ooh. Ooh. Arcfiend of Depravity is very good. Can we do both better revelation and Arcfiend? No. no. Well, we didn't play land yet. We, so if we draw... A land with bitter revelation. Actually, we can. gamble for it. I mean, the odds are we hit it. Well, I realistically, I want to hit like throttle and a land. Or are we gonna hit three land <laughs> and a disown ancestor. <laughs> disown ancestor. Yeah, that's true. We do. And we play the land. Not, not that it matters. Arcfiend of Depravity. And now the race is on. I'm actually probably going to discard... I'm actually probably just going to chomp Arcfiend against Mardu. 
That's fine. Because he's not going to have any more yeah. of the two creatures. I don't really care what he does at this point. Um, Me either. No, no. Yeah. We've seen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of our 18 lands. So thirteen. we have 13 <laughs> spells. This is fine. Uh, fine. This is probably Throttle. YOLO? YOLO? What is this? Reach of the Shadows. So it actually blows up my the bomb that I needed. What is, what is that? Wait, destroy say? target creature that's one or more colors. Yeah. Huh. Oh, so it doesn't hit artifacts. No. Or, or morph creatures, for that matter. Yeah. So that's they're colorless. Not that bad, though. It is really bad, because he stops Typhoid Rat, and now all of a sudden I have to just no, use no, if I, I want to go to three I or not. It's a card. Oh, it's a great card. Uh, we'll block the four, we'll go to three. Alright, so he has had everything that he needs exactly when he needs it. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that must be nice. Uh, but we'll go to three. One day, Kyle. One day. I need a way to deal with this guy. Like, we have ways to deal with him. I know we do. Oh, we got the multicolored counter spell. Actually, we do have the multicolored counter spell. He seems to have a lot of really good multicolored cards. Well, realistically, he's got one he's so hard. far that we've seen. What other ones is he, have, we, have we seen from him that weren't monocolored? None. I'm talking out my mouth. Yeah. Which spits falsified. Yes, so we're going to go to three. <laughs> uh, there's lots of things that we can draw that would be good. Um, there are lots of things that we could draw that would be excellent um, to deal with this Rough Rider. Let's see what we draw, though. Watch it be the land. Oh, debilitating injury. That's decent. That turns this into a 3-2... Which is then profitably blocked by Disowned Ancestor. Nice. Or so value. Yep. Two for one. <laughs> or Typhoid Rats. Alright. Well, that that gets us sort of out of this. We've seen a lot of our good stuff, though. Yeah. Now, granted, we've run out, like, we've seen, like, nothing but playables from him, which is great. Yeah. Um, Look at that. Yeah. So, <sighs> we still haven't seen our Throttle. We still haven't seen a lot of our other removal. Um... He's got a really good deck. He does. He does have a good deck. I'm just brain dead right now. I just... Raider spoils. That's fine. So oh, he's at a four. Yeah, so now it's actually strong enough to do that. That's... Seriously? Can we not? <laughs> it's <laughs> I like, don't... hey, man, you made him unable to trade with the disowned dance. So yeah, I love... Oh, no, yeah, it's mind. great. I love it. I love that. I love when our opponents always have exactly what they need every single time. It's really obnoxious. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Wow is wow is correct. So this is, this is what we're like a boss. All right. There he is. Well, that's the bomb we needed. This is it. Have we have we run you out of everything that you need every single time just yet? <laughs> Do. You, do you have more things to murder us with? <laughs> like, honestly? What else you got? Let's we'll see it. Feet of Resistance uh -huh. for Lethal? Uh -huh. Another ridiculous pre-combat spell that you just happened to draw? Because I know you're sandbagging two lands. Look at Kyle with that precognition, though. Amorph. Amorph. Alright, well... A morph into Russia battle. This thing has eaten win? three of our guys. This thing is just morph been... into Russia battle wins the game for him. If, if he wants, if he does that. Morphs well, he can't. He doesn't have haste though. Oh no! Well, sad haste. Why? Why do you want him to have haste? Stop. <laughs> what is that? Clicks plucks. Uninstall. We're dead. Face it. We're not dead. No we have been delaying dead. this for Shut so up, long. John. We can totally no win. Wifey. Shut up, John. No Jesus of Mary and Joseph. Shut up. Face it. Be quiet for the children. <laughs> we'll be fine. Thinking. If this is Horde Ambusher, we're dead. If it's not Horde Ambusher, we still live. Maybe. It's our turn to start getting what we need. Yeah. 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 Don't take those lemons. No, I like the lemons. Make life give the lemons back. Demand to see life's manager. Who does life think it is giving you lemons? Do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. Face drop. <laughs> all right, so we have one. All right, well, this needs to be a spell. It's Wait. probably gonna be a land. Ended their turn. 
Ooh, okay. Uh, we can cancel out the Raiders, boy. We can. You can make that guy a fourth. We can three make unblockable. this into a one. You can make this into. Uh, this is probably going to kill us. Cause he pro. Cause what's gonna happen? I'm surprised he didn't swing last turn. Uh huh. Yeah. Why didn't he swing? Well, cause now he can swing next turn. Cause this didn't have haste. Remember? Yeah. Uh, now the question is, we need to decide what we want to do. Um. um. Oh. That's what we do. And then this guy gets the plus one, plus one. And then we swing for three with this, because if he doesn't block it, uh, we get to manifest. Oh, no, because we're still dead anyway. Huh. Well, I, uh... well, let's... Well, the, well, when it says he gets manifested, it doesn't the... say he stays tapped. R well, exactly. Well, he has to, he has to figure, he, well, if he blocks the Rough Rider, okay, he's, yeah, we lose. That was the only out, though. Why would it get discarded? I don't know. Is he Wait, is he unblockable? No. I have one other creature, so he's blockable. Oh. He's been flipping it, though. <laughs> Alright, so we scoop. Our opponent had everything they needed. Wow. Exactly when they needed it. <laughs> Maybe the deck is just everything it needs all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just the perfect deck. No, no, that's just perfect <laughs> draws. He drew five land and then never drew another one. Yeah. yeah. It's whatever. You, sometimes you lose to ridiculous stuff. That yeah, seems fine. This guy is the perfect answer to this stuff. This kills his uh, other stuff. This eventually kills the Rough Rider, which we had problems with. Good, good. good yeah, hand. that was that was really annoying. Value? I've I've never seen anybody. That's not true. Yeah, <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> that usually true. happens to me. It's okay. Three <laughs> colors, twelve land. It's true. Different. <laughs> Never forget. John lost to a guy that was playing three colors and twelve land and four copies of Defend the Hearth. Wait. In draft. In draft. In draft. Just. Who? Wasn't one of our people, right? Nope. Uh, twelve land. Born of the Gods, double the arrows. Thanks. I'm going to leave this guy back forever because of Dash. Also, I would love if like we we draw a little bit of pressure with this hand. I feel like Dash is just going to like but me. Kyle, you want more lands. John, uh, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> know, that I, know that I will hurt you with everything that I am. All that is in my body. Dash and makes... That's going exactly to make wants Jess to guy a lot okay, this is like get harder to, to deal with. Easier. And right into B. Or actually, no, it's not, because I'm going to write, write into B. Why did I say Jess guy? That's a really good card. Like, so Dash look at makes um, a lot harder to deal with, Mardu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is going to go Manifest, and this is going to go deck bottom. Oh, you can put it on the bottom, too? I can. Nice. Just sorts everything. It does, honestly. Don't, don't want those lands? Just put them on the bottom? Two lands off the top? Really good. Love, the new stuff. Love right into being. Love it. So far, this thing has performed like a champ in our deck. Like, this card's value is just shooting up for us. Yeah. yeah. We've There's seen like... six, we've seen eight lands, so realistically, there are 20 lands in the deck. Still. There are not. <laughs> wait, there no, are what? 10 lands. <laughs> there are 20 spells in the deck. Math. I was like, wait a minute, we gained land somewhere. <laughs> Those legendary zero mana gain land spells. Yeah. <laughs> actual land cards that just get put in your deck. I'm yeah, this not... just seems amazing. This seems like nothing but value. The thing I'm scared of, though, tomorrow is, again, dealing with dash in Mardu decks. It's, like, what we're facing here. It's just going to be threatening, because you can dash at any time. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Like, if he has a heal cutter here, it's a little awkward, because he makes this not block. Oh, he bathed in dragon fire to kill my morph? Sure. Kill the manifest? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> hey! Whiffs. So like literally this whammy. this was actually free card advantage. Yep. You got this kill spell. Swings for two. Do I want to block? No, I don't. That's fine. And our opponent should be at twenty six, because his spells have life link. Oh. Wow. Wait, can I see that card? Yeah, this thing's insane. Like, this card is nuts. It deals 6 damage, though? 
Well, no, because he did four damage with Bathe and Dragonfire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that has lifelink. So, that has lifelink, and then four damage with Bathe and Dragonfire. Well, that's fine. All right. Yeah, Tommy's only at 24, though. He's at 26, buddy. This is lifelink, and then oh, he did four damage yeah. with that, so it spells it, yeah. It's just lagging. He's yeah. Like, the counter takes a while to move up sometimes. Well, if we get a spell, I'm going to play it. If we don't get a spell, I'm going to debilitating injury. Oh, Can that's pretty well. good. You like, could use it just to get card advantage. I feel like no. debilitating injury is what Yeah, I'm just going to kill this. I don't want this around. Wait, wait, can we swing for one for disrespect? No, because he's got dash. He has no mana up. But next turn he will. Yeah, dash. Uh, and I'm not going to lose to dash cards. So. Dash is dumb. We we do need to draw pressure though, uh, at some point. Uh, like we need like any of our creatures are really good in this state right now, but like we we need to draw them. Um, eventually, debilitating injury will hit the graveyard. I think. Oh my gosh, why is steam still up in the background? There we go. Maybe that'll make this a little better. All fixed. All right, the debilitating injury. And we're back. Now we have seven mana, too, for our uh, inevitable dead drop. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to kill all of his creatures. They're coming. It's a margin. Kill cutter? Merrick Nightblade, huh? Oh. Well, that's actually troublesome. Yeah. Because we need some pressure. Oh, hey, it's that thing that can let you give that guy a plus one, plus one. Yeah, minus one, minus one, so. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, see, we're, not, we're just not getting any, yeah. any pressure. Yeah. We need creatures to capitalize on this, and we just, we're not getting them. That's really starting to aggravate me. You could tap him so he doesn't outlast. No, I'm just going to swing for two here. Um, it's okay. I, I can save this for later. Uh, any of our 14 creatures would be sweet. We've only seen one. It's only turn five, so, you know. We'll, we'll get one eventually. <laughs> our odds are pretty good. Averages. Yeah, we have averages. Swings for one. Sure. <laughs> I just... What? It's too much man. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Sleep is good. <laughs> we got victories we got to win. Victories we have to win. Uh-oh. Is yeah. there a way to lose it, Victory? Well, as you can clearly see, if we can't draw a creature, yeah, the answer is yes. But, but then it's not Victory. Um, we can tap down this thing with Crippling Chill at EOT, and that guarantees us another draw step. Uh, yeah, this is annoying. Oh, man. Um, okay, so let's think here. We could EOT this, bring it to two, that doesn't attack next turn, that we still have two. Yeah, I like Crippling Chilling here, just to see if we get what we, what we can get. Land? <laughs> well. We just need to, yeah, we just need to play this with the idea that we're going to get something, hopefully. Well, there's something. That is a, that is a something. Better than land. It is a lot better than land. The dead drop is going to be useful eventually, although when there's a token in play, it's not as useful. Yeah. So I'm going to run this this one four, this zero four out, and then I'm going to swing for two.
No, no response with my uh, no mana. Well, also putting crippling Toe in our graveyard. I really need to kill this warrior token. No response. <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect. Swing of islands. Okay, you're all done. Ah. Uh... You're flooded. <laughs> you game flooded. Uh, we're gonna know. We're gonna we're gonna do what Noah Noah's Ark did back in this piece. Float. Man, the magic float the man. Strong tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can do pretty well. I think we need to hit some of our bombs. We have some bombs. We have our Sage Eye Avengers. Unsurprisingly, our opponent spends a turn doing this. He's got the life. Could outlast everyone if he wanted to. I mean, if they had outlast. Yep. Did he swing with a token? Or... Okay, so we've got some plans here. Uh, the Glacial Stalker seems pretty sweet. Hey, it's a morph. Uh, I don't know why the 1-1 one -one is tapped. It should not be tapped. So let's think about this here. This, become, this is a 2-3 again. Uh, eventually he's gonna have this this two three. Uh, I can I can outlast this and play the morph. Is that what I want to do? Well, that means he has two free attacks then essentially. He's gonna have two free attacks anyway. I could always throttle this guy, and then I have pretty decent blocks. But then do I lose to Mardu Roughrider essentially? Although at this point, is it even worth playing around Mardu Roughrider? Boards in a pretty bad state. Yeah. Um, we're not in a great place. If we had a six land, we could probably play this guy out, and then that'd be awesome. But as it seems, I think we have to outlast here and play our morph. It's not super good, um, but it, it's something, you know. We've got a Board play, reasons. and then inevitably I will trade my 4-5 for the 2-3 with death touch, I think. Or if he swings in with Mardu Horchief, I can double block and force him to have a combat trick rather than do anything else with his life. Huh. <clears throat> you know, it would have been solid for this deck. What? Mystic had a hidden. Mystic of the Hidden Way? Yeah, that one. It's just such a solid blue card. Alright, so this should be. Yeah. Th he should be tapping to four for this. Yeah. That's three. Ah, uh, they screen the last swamp. Is yeah. Back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's just moving this on tap line. Like, see, see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing. Like, it did that. I know the other day, me and Kyle were playing each other, and yeah. I forget what it was specifically on my end that was fine. And he was like, "What are you doing?" Also, an island of his was just sitting in the middle. We just have of to ask too if the token is tapped and attacking. Yeah. What was annoying though was um. That's the big thing we have to figure out. Because if the token is attacking, it changes our blocks a little bit. Uh, Excellent. That could be the, the reason. The web socket error. Love it. Sorry, folks, for the little brief intermissions in our game. We've worked out show tunes for you. Pop by by your local snack bar. To get a extra large popcorn and big mega gulp slushy. Yo, I want that. For seven twenty five. And your <laughs> firstborn child! Yay! Yeah, 725 for an extra large popcorn and then a large. Alright, so he isn't swinging. Lights. I'm gonna double block. Where do you, what world do you live in? $11, I don't know. Like, 13 sounds more like. Whoa, whoa. whoa like, whoa. more like movie theaters to me. Double blocking the Horde Chief. Uh, if he's got a combat trick, he's got a combat trick. Pro Man, feet of resistance would just be so devastating. Kill the manifest. It's not mad, it's more fun. And then we take two. 
He does not get a card either. That seems fine. Um, I'm okay with that. That's the thing that's going to be really, like, you know... Uh, you don't get to do that. Well, wait, did the warrior token hit you? No, it didn't. The warrior token didn't attack. Forgetting that it only triggers off of warriors. Yeah. Uh, I did the same thing once, first time I played the card. I thought it yes, was... anybody. If it was anybody, it'd be really good, but as it stands, it's only kind of good. I mean, unless you're running like all warriors, which he seems to be, so it's still good for him. It's good in his deck. It's, a, it's unfortunate the only guy that did damage was a uh, assassin. Do for we him. do we dead drop here? Uh, uh, no, <laughs> not that he's near. Wait, is he five minutes? If already? we have a no, I think we dead drop here. Dead drop, then play him next turn. No, I think we dead drop, then hit, then swing in for um for one. Uh, did it happen already? Fifteen to fourteen, and then. So the question is, do we play Archfiend of Depravity or do I play uh, uh, the Sack Outlet? I um, still think we can we can play Dead Drop Swing and yeah. hold on to that because if he floods the field, then we can still play Archfiend. Well, yeah. he's more likely to flood the field now, is what I'm saying. And then he'll have to sacrifice the token if he plays anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably. A then good he goes. Way to get rid he, of the he does get in for three, but then he has to race our five four every single turn. Now, granted, he does have the monocolor kill spell, so maybe it's just better to dead drop now and then next turn play the five four flyer. This is tough, actually. Yeah. Um. So let's work this out here. If he, cause no, actually, no, it's not. It's not better to play Arc Fiend of Depravity because he can just start dashing. Oh. Yeah. He has, oh man, dash plays around that really hard. And, and honestly, like, it, the, this isn't going to get, uh, like, dead drop's not going to get much better. We have throttle to deal with the horde cheat, the, the rough rider if we have, if we play against it. Um, and then in, in an empty board state, deprav like, this archfiend is still as good because it just, it's a 5-4 flyer that he has to race. Suddenly we're like, yo, 1v1, race me, no <laughs> items. No items. Uh, I am going to swing in for one here. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, dash cards beat us. Do we... Do we no, we'll just swing in for three. Um, that just seems like the best play. So, yep. And if he's got dash cards, um, it doesn't really behoove him to play them. I mean, like, granted, he can play them, lose a life, and then hit us for three. Or hit us for four, essentially. If he wants to, but then... That's not as good as it needs to be for him, because then he's not building up a board state. So... Oh, he might not have anything in his hand. Oh, Bitter Revelation's pretty good. Yeah, I would swing in first then Bitter Revelation. I might just Bitter Revelation now. You know what I mean? Uh. Because if we Bitter yeah. Revelation now, when there's not any pressure, we're okay. Yeah. But if we, if, but if he... If he has, like, removal for Arc Fiend, then we're in trouble. That's true. Uh, we know there's no response because we're not dumb, so. <laughs> the Naga thing is pretty good, too. Yeah. And, like, we just keep swinging for three. By the way, uh, it didn't change the 12 for some reason. Thanks. Thanks for the spot, Brendan. That's something that I always... Yeah, uh, sometimes Minus life. On the yeah. Videos. I mean, there's really no difference in that. I mean, technicalities. <laughs> Uh, all right. No so, response to your turn beginning. 
No response to beginning of turn. Uh, at your upkeep, flip you off. No. <laughs> no, John. John. Flip the bird. John. Stop. Mm -hmm. We like this guy. So we need to wait for fun. Galar from Reddit is really cool. He is a good guy. I like him a lot. It's been a fun partnership. It's been fun doing this tournament with him. Now, granted, yeah. he's got plenty... Oh, so perfect. He does have the Marty Rough Rider, <laughs> which we have been having this... Throttle. <laughs> yes, which we have a throttle in hand for whenever we want. This is the moment the throttle's been waiting for. This is it. <laughs> You're going to lose yourself chance. in the moment. You want it. You better never let no it go. No white standing means no feet of resistance, so we can do it safely, too. We can. You're right, John. We can. Oh, man. And we shall... This card's just been in our hand all game. It's been waiting. Yeah. Waiting for that moment. A match made in heaven. Oh! Oh! oh Landon Jonathan! Oh, it's the guy! It's the scissor king! It's Landon Jonathan with the equalizer! I can't expect you, please. Oh. <laughs> At least we have fun. Poor, poor draw. We've, we've drawn very well now. Now now we can yeah. start. Now we've gone. We're doing okay. Wait, are we Lady in game averages. two? We are in game two. I don't know. I'll be around for game three, man. I need to go to sleep. Huh. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, what are you? He's actually really good because he can start yeah. moving our tokens around. Like, he can actually, like, for three mana, which he has the ability to do, he can take one of our tokens and put it on him. Oh, I never thought... You can take it from the other person. Yes, you can. I, I was always, like, looking at that card, like, yeah, it's pretty good for abs. They move around your tokens when a creature dies. I just never realize you could steal yeah. it from one However, he, I don't, like, he snap blocks here, I think. Uh, I think he snap blocks if we swing for both of them. I have six mana, which is enough to play one of these guys and then leave up the Naga ability. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't even remember if Naga's instant. It is. Yep. I just... You can do it on their turn. And I'm fine, like, essentially one for one in here with him. Is it a warrior? It is. Oh, wow. How are you one so for one for Because it? I'm going to play Hooded Assassin and kill it. Oh, nice. Unless he does that. In which case, I am going to very happily play my four drop. Let's see if I did this right. I did. I'm going to play Misfire Adept. So now when we play Will of the Naga, he's that much better. Well, when he, what's going to happen is I'm going to respond to him moving the token and tap it down. Uh, oh, no, he didn't do it end of turn. Interesting. Maybe he just doesn't realize he can. Ye maybe. Maybe he just doesn't feel like hey, What are the token. colors for its ability? It's uh, You can either oh. use black or green, and then it's one and then those two. Yeah, it's double black. Did he have double black on? Yeah, double black. Two. Two. Yeah, he knows it. <laughs> oh, here it is. Did you count? I did. Uh, he has been willed by the Naga to cease and desist his evil ways. <laughs> force of will. For force of will. No, not as good as force of will. Not quite. But it's still decent. Pack of negation. You're telling me it's close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to know. <laughs> slaughter packed? <laughs> slaughter packed. I wish I had slaughter packed on this deck. I love it when the tokens just jump onto the field. Your eager, willing pawns. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> eager. Uh, I think we just... Okay, so let's think about this here. We can swing for five, we can outlast, and then we can play Typhoid Rats, or we can just play Arcfiend of Depravity, or we can play Hooded Assassin Typhoid Rats. Uh, I think we just swing six and play Hooded, Hooded Assassin and then Typhoid yeah. Rats. Because inevitably, Misfire Adept can jump one oh. of my guys. If we swing six here, how much is he have left on the field? You would have to put out either a good uh, removal spell. Right. Or he has to put out another guy. Well, and remember and too... Lethal next turn. Remember too, da well, remember Dagatar can snag two tokens from us. If he if he read if he reads the cards correctly, Dagatar <laughs> can snag two tokens from us, which is fine. Um, yeah, everything just came up now. So. Yeah, it's it's lagging a little bit, uh, which means if he does that, I'm just gonna play Arcfiend of Depravity and then try and win the game because then he has to if if I play it now, 
No blocks. Okay, so he did miss. He does not know how it works. Uh, um, so set. it is. I mean, actually, I didn't know how this worked. I read Luis Scott Vargas's set review when he's like, "Yeah, this yeah. card is an absolute whirlwind slam bomb. Please take it." Uh, and I didn't realize that that's how that card works either. So that's not a dig on anybody. That's just like, it's also, one of those new interactions you kind of get used to. Yeah. I also said it's a new set. It's not even a set yet. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's true. not out. So this is a draft radio exclusive. Is it exclusive? I mean, if we if we start claiming it as exclusive, you might get. Shh, draft radio exclusive. What's Wizards gonna do? Sue me and take what little money I I don't make off this channel? <laughs> yeah, they try to get me for money. What are they gonna get? Hey, I, li I like your channel every video. That's like zero cents because you're not sponsored. I'm not. I'm not sponsored. You are correct. Sponsor. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll sponsor me. They'll be like, you're right. It is a draft radio exclusive. Now. I mean, you are. No, no, no. Pioneer no, 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 game theory. You might as well get sponsored. <laughs> oh, he scoops. And we're going to game we're going three. We're going to game three. That felt like a game three. That felt exactly like a game three. We're going to lose this one. I know. I feel it on my bones. No, nah, we'll be all right. No, it's just like how I'm going to draw Ujin this weekend. You're right. It's just a thing. That's and gonna John's going to get the best deck and win with it. Or, or I can get the best deck and get no wins with it. John, you're going to win with it. Come like on. Focus. Well, I'm winning. I need confidence. <laughs> Um, well, it's either the playmat or actually drawing the playmat. This mat. is awesome on the draw, because we can write into being, and we have Infiltrator, and then Misfire it up. Wow. We also have our two bombs. <laughs> so. Can't type keep fast enough. Well. I mean. The it's two, awkward the with the two lands, lands yeah. Um, but. And it's really bad, because like we, he's shown a lot of two drops. Yeah, we'll just pretend that it's not two lands. So, like, you know, it's... I, I would be happy if there was one more land, like if we got rid of like maybe this guy and or like one of our six drops. But I can't like if we get a land and like it, the best thing would be like if we drew land two drop, land, yeah. land, land, and then we just go <laughs> two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop, and then the game's over. And then perfect curve. That's what we won. You right, John? I feel like an old man. My joints are stiffening up. <laughs> Too much hardcore magic. That's what it is. Dead drop is the worst thing we could have drawn there. It just ages you. This does, man. No, it's probably it just makes you so mature. We have two turns to hit a land, though. Probability... Well, I don't want to say what probability is. <laughs> Kyle, honesty. we're talking about you. That's true. You are correct. You are I correct. I already used up all my luck anyway. You're oh, escaping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, do we even tell them the story? No, we don't. The story of yours. <laughs> so we draw a five drop. Oh, oh we can oh. use that, right? <laughs> I need I need a so land. So we have one turn to draw. I land. need a land. Does that cost two mana? This it costs it. five mana. No, and this, that. this costs two mana. Yeah. Two red. Oh yeah. Um, right th into being becomes really good, and we just need this to be a thing. Please be a thing. Oh god. Oh man, this really needs to be a thing. Oh, is he is he, is he dashing? He is dashing for oh, six. Oh lord. Lordy lordy. All right. Well. Winner, winner. Yeah, this Nothing is... Nothing for dinner. Winner, this is winner. Upsetting. Winner, winner. We're probably going to die if we don't get a land this turn. Land. Got oh. It. oh! All right. X, X back A, X back A, <laughs> and other... TSM. 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 <laughs> oh, okay. We're all right. And look at that. Um, we have milled the, <laughs> the lands we needed. Nope, this is going deck top. And this is going to immediately jump in front of whatever piece of crap is in our way. That is a really good card. It is a really good card. Guys, so, this is a really good card. What if your land was more than a land? Yeah, it's like... Wow. You're right, John. What if our land was something else? What What if it was a 2-2? Color this token. I mean, blue is my favorite color, so it's featured in almost all my drafts. That's a card I'm going to value pretty highly. I'm blue. not saying it's like a... Blue's, like a first, maybe blue is mass. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see what he does here. If he, I mean, if he da like theoretically, he can just dash and hit us for six, puts us to eight, which I actually don't think he. I think he does that, or he hard casts this. Well, that's fine. I mean, the eventual, eventually when I make that morph, hard cast right now, offering trade. Absolutely here. offering trade here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Trade is good. Trade is so very good. All right. Well, let's draw the land that we know we have. Uh, now it's just a matter of playing the lands that we have efficiently. Yes. Which we will. Which is the one thing Kyle's good at. Which is, yeah. In all of life. 
Because let's be honest, I'm but the reason I'm that good is probably because I'm used to not drawing them so often. Yeah, that's what. That's what it is. I think that's what. I think that's what it is. We're flooded, but we'll make it work. Yeah, we're we're screwed, but we'll make it work. Um, I honestly don't even know if he makes it, or oh well, no, he has to use this ability. I thought this was a May ability. Um, and if it is a May ability, I don't even know if I if I was my opponent if I would declare this can't block. But. We're in we're in kind of a tough spot. Um, dead drop eventually becomes good. We're only four four mana away from playing dead drop essentially. Yeah, uh, we're one mana away from the big guy though. We are one mana away from Arcfiend of Depravity. They look good. There, there's Arcfiend. Everyone, so wave hi to the folks at home, Arcfiend. Hello. Hello. I'm a giant demon. Hoi 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 hoi. Um. What is this thing? Rush Rider attacks, put a token tapped and tagging that's a copy of another token of another attacking creature. Oh, God. Yep. He dashed it, so yeah. that's six and he's dashing it, so he's damage. swinging for nine. Hey, oh, that we can't block. Wow. Uh, well, folks, I think that might be game. Yeah, I mean... Guys, dash is looking ridiculous. There um, are so saying, many good dash. combos in dash. We have, to, we have to kill this thing. However, dash also gives fuel to Jess guy. We have to kill. We we have to kill this this turn, yeah, or bounce it. If we bounce it, that's fine too. It's not gonna be like if this does like what, what well, it does kind of because it gives us gives you a blocker. It gives us two blockers because we can play that. We can play that. I think we're just dead. It would have been really good to have a land that turn because we could have bounced the dash cutter, and then we probably could have won this game. Although I don't think we win it now because realistically two guys can't block. And we hit for six, but and that flame dasher is coming out every turn. Right. Um, we needed we needed the land there. If we got the land there, we probably could have won it. If we didn't, wait. Well, why did the token go away? Because it, it goes at the end of the end of the turn. It's a flame dasher special ability. Yep. Which is certainly fine. Yolo. Uh yeah, I think he there's well, again we're gonna play around. Uh, we're gonna play to our only out, which is our opponent, not knowing what they're doing. By the way, is he still counting this as an official draft? I have no idea. I have no clue. <laughs> anyway. I'm I'm just excited to play the new cards. Oh man, I like. I'm not looking forward to seeing Dash tomorrow. <laughs> I think that combo is a little on the ridiculous side. I mean, maybe he just goes land and then plays Rider, and then we're okay. I still think it should have the balance of cons. He's it's looking yeah. like Mardu's he's, gonna be pretty strong. He's definitely thinking Mardu got too much yeah. in the new like, in the new block. In all honesty, I don't know what they were thinking. Mardu already had like what was it? A right, 50, 60 percent. Mardu was right? great. Yeah, and Mar then they were like, hey, you know what? Mardu needs more bombs. More, yeah, more, more bombs. More, more abilities. More better <laughs> cards, I guess. I don't really know. Yeah, he dashes, he wins. I don't know why he, he thought about that, but that's okay. Maybe he thought you had a counter or something with your zero mana. I don't know. It's true. Maybe he just goes double token attack. He's a smart guy. Um, How's he getting the double token? I don't know. I think that might have been a mistake. Ah, all right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, is there something we're missing here? This thing has to attack though to get the token. Oh, please just attack with those two. <laughs> okay. Am I dead? Yeah, token yeah, I'm dead. targets infiltrator. We lose. Oh, yep. Oh, he can topple the heel cutter. Right. That's why. That's why we lose. Dang! Wow. This is that. Ah. Man. <laughs> wow. Oh. Flame Dasher, what are you? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. In any case, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully, you had a fun time. I know I sure did. Uh, thank you, of course, to John and Brendan for coming out and for joining us. No problem. Mardu Maybe. makes my face feel sad. Mardu <laughs> makes John's face feel sad. Uh, but in any case, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You never have to do it in that order, but we sure appreciate it when you do it. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Um, Google+. Plus. Yeah, and Google+. Plus. We actually have Google+. Plus. Google+. All right. Yeah, we did. So Twitter, everybody on Plus. Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. If, Plus. if you have YouTube, you have Google+, Plus, you a.k.a. Outliers. the website. That which is, <laughs> which is pretty great. So, in any case, folks, thank you so, so much for coming out and for joining us. Uh, I am Kyle after Draft Radio, signing off. Have a wonderful evening.